hi everyone welcome back to a new youtube video on our channel and this video is all about how to clear uh, how to get your ccna certification in 2025 so i got my ccna certification in january 2024 but i was getting a lot of questions on our youtube channel also that how we can enter in this networking field and how we can clear our ccna certifications so now in 2025 if you have also decided to start your career with networking or you might be interested in it fields so i would like to tell you that you can start with ccna so ccna stands for cisco certified network associate this is one of the well designed certification by cisco for someone who wants to enter in the it networking field right so first of all you need the training of ccna after getting the training you can go for ccna certification which is offered by cisco right and the exam code for ccna is ccna 200301 so the first question is that what is ccna and what does it include exactly right so ccna like i said stands for cisco certified network associate right it is an entry level certification in the it networking field in ccna you explore the basic fundamentals of networking like we start with basic what is a network types of network types of communication modes of communication types of addresses then osi model tcp ip model basic switching basic routing basic network security how traffic flow between uh, switches routers and all then wireless part is also included in our latest ccna right so this this certification is a wholesome of you know uh, the basic fundamental knowledge required to enter in this field exam code which is 200301 this exam is going to cost you 300 usd plus taxes and you just get one attempt so i cleared it in my first attempt because i've started uh, my journey back in 2017 but i have been never in a situation where i need to have cisco certifications because there are two uh, things when you need the CCNA certification or any kind of certification. First, you want to do it for your own fulfillment. Plus, if it is required by the company you are giving resume or you are trying to join, right? So either the company asks for it, then you uh, attempt for the certifications. But it is going to be a lifetime experience because it reminds you the basic fundamental knowledge and you also go through its each and every topic again right so this now we know that what is ccna the next question is that how we will prepare for the exam or what kind of books do we need so guys uh, before 2020 in ccna we just have one book which is stored lab book but now in uh, 2024 because cisco made some changes in 2020 and a new ccna was launched which is known as ccna 200301 right so in ccna 200301 now we have two books the books we uh, i have right here the first book is uh, ccna 200301 volume 1 so this is the volume 1 book and i have the another book which is uh, ccna 200301 volume 2 so in this this we have two books volume 1 and volume 2 and each books cover particular topics right so we start with volume 1 and after volume 1 we'll go through the volume 2 because book reading is very important you learn from someone right you learn from an instructor they are sharing their own experience but you want to build your own knowledge then i would recommend you to go through the books as well word by word page by page you must read all the chapters at least once because it will give you more insights as well as you'll build your own knowledge right so yes for the preparation of the exam books are you know very very you know you can say important to read right you can get them in pdf format or you can have the physical ones also right okay guys so you can see here the type of questions you want to have in the ccn exam so first of all the duration of the exam is two hours or you can say 120 uh, minutes and the number of questions can go up to 100 to 120 it's a uh, variable right but usually we have 100 questions in the exam and then we have the types of questions so here you can see that we have multiple choice questions right we have mcq with multiple answers like we have sometimes choose to choose three options right then we have drag and drop uh, drag questions right for example tcp tcp belongs to which layer so on the other hand you might have three layers 
network layer, transport layer, application layer. So you have to drag TCP belongs to the transport layer. IP belongs to the network layer. So drag and drop questions. Then you have simulation based questions like related to the exam, right? Traffic is flowing that, okay, traffic is discarded because of what reason like these uh, questions will be have in the simulation based. Then we have fill in the blank questions. Fill in the blank questions. Encapsulation. Uh, data decapsulation we have right then we have packet segment and all so for example if I say the segmentation is performed at dash 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 layer so the segmentation is performed at transport layer fragmentation is performed at dash 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 layer so it is performed at network layer right likewise uh, switch is a dash 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 layer device so it's a layer 2 device so likewise we have fill in the blank questions as well as we have test test questions or you can say scenario based questions related or like uh, a topology is given to you and then few questions are given so on the behalf of that you're gonna answer the questions so this is gonna be the pattern of questions you have in uh, your ccn 300301 exam duration is uh, two hours or 120 minutes and the number of questions are right here okay this is how you're gonna crack the ccn 200301 Let's talk about the next thing. Now the guy's question comes into the mind that does it worth our time as well as the uh, cost? So answer is yes. Here you see that does it worth to get CCNA certification in 2025? So the answer is yes because you have a lot of benefits of getting CCNA certification done. The first one is foundation for networking careers. If you're starting with your networking career or in IT networking field, so you need the basic knowledge as well as you need foundation to build your certification, number of certifications, right? So you can start with CCNA. Second, industry recognitions. Now, Cisco is the market leader in the IT networking field and the cisco certification is recognized by industries as well so when you are going for an interview at the basic because you are just a fresher so the company sometimes ask for a certification that do you have the ccna certifications yes so you can say yes i do have the certifications and you are recognized by the industry increased demand for networking professionals nowadays what we are seeing guys what is the trend everything is going online right we have the uh, like initially it was just network for computers but now network of things or you can say internet of things everything is connected to the internet i can get everything online so that's why you see that how you're gonna get the service how you're gonna watch the videos on youtube how you're gonna watch the movies on netflix how you're gonna uh, buy something from amazon so everything is connected in the background right and who is, who is providing the connectivity us like network engineers so uh, industry increased demand for networking professional then worldwide valid because cisco is the market leader like i mentioned so cisco certifications are valid if you get the ccna certification in india and then you move to any other country still the ccna certificate is considered valid cost effective and accessible now cost effective means that it's not the cheapest one but yes as compared to other certifications ccna certification is uh, cheaper like you just pay 300 usd plus taxes and accessible means that you can get it done online as well as offline so you can go to your nearest uh, nearest pearson center or you can get it done online as well but i would like to recommend you to go to the physical uh, centers like pearson centers and get your certification done because sometimes cisco cancel your certificate because if of your eye movement or because of any unwanted or unaccepted activities so it's better to go to a exam center and get your ccna certification done now the next thing is that how to register for the exam so to register for ccna 200 301 you need to go to the peers and view center uh, website and from uh, there you can just register for it and you can add the ccna certification to your card and you'll, once you'll proceed with the card they'll tell you the cost plus taxes you pay the amount and you are ready to get your ccna certification in your hands so let's see in this video that how to register for ccna exam 
So in this video, we'll see that how you can register for your CCNA exam, CCNA 200301. So first of all, you need to log in here. I'll just log in to my uh, using my credentials and then I'll show you the page, right? So you'll click on login. Once you click on login, you need to go here under this uh, Cisco. I can say Cisco systems. And I already logged in to the portal using my credentials. You can see it right here, uh, right? I'm already inside my portal where I uh, log into the Pearson view dashboard. Now you go to the schedule option. You click on schedule an exam and or manage this. Now I'll say schedule now. Once you'll click on schedule now, then it will take you to a new uh, tab. And here we see options like, okay, first of all, find an exam. So we are looking for uh, CCNA 200301. So I'll select this certifications. After that, how you want to take the exam? In person at a test center, online with on view, or I have a private access code. So this time we'll select in person at a Pearson center. So prepare for your test exam test center exam, your, uh, they need your photo ID or your government issued identifications. What to expect? Familiarize yourself with the testing experience so you feel confident on test day and personal items. Review the items that you can have during testing that do not require prior approval, like few things are not allowed inside. Then you click next. Here you see we have two options. What is your preferred language for the exam? So we'll choose English. Do you accept the terms and conditions of the Cisco confidentiality agreements? Yes, we don't have any other option, so we can just click on yes. Admission policy. We ask that you arrive at the testing center 15 minutes before your schedule appointment. So you can go through this uh, requirement and then we'll say yes, we agree to this. Now, you can choose the location. like. This is the nearest to me, Pearson Professional Center. This one, two, three, four, five. I have many options like, right? Then even I can click on show more. So I have a lot of options to get the certification done. And the nearest one is here. So I select this one, for example. Next. Now the appointment date. So uh, the date, for example, I select 29th of January. Timing, 12 hours, right? 24 hours. According to this, you can select, like the timing is to be. Book this appointment. Then you see the exam cost is 300 USD, right? Then Cisco practice test, 30 days online. If you want to add, you can add it to order, but it will cost you 89 USD. Cisco practice test, 60 days online, 99 USD, but we don't want to opt any of this. And then you can see here, the subtotal is 300 USD plus estimated tax uh, tax, uh, tax is 54 USD. So the total cost is gonna be 354. So if I calculate it in Indian rupees, so it is gonna be uh, 354, so 30,000 and you just get one attempt then you can say proceed to checkout once you click on proceed to checkout you can choose the payment options you have the options like jcb american express discover mastercard or visa card so you can select your card then you can pay uh you can just enter your once you enter your card details then the uh <clears throat> amount is detected from your card and you are ready to go so that's how you can register for the ccna exam now we have seen that how to register for ccna 2030 exam using the pearson view uh, website now the next question is that for how long the ccna certification is valid so once you get your ccna certification it is valid for three years and the uh, date right issue date as well as the expiry date is written on your ccna certification as well so like it is going to be expired in three years but there's a hack you can do one thing like you got your CCNA certification, 
before it expired you can go for any other cisco certifications like ccnp certifications so now you have your ccnp certifications as well as your previous certification is also renewed so the validity for the ccna certification is of three years okay now the final question guys that how much we're gonna get paid once we clear our ccna certification and we go in the job market so i would like to be transparent as well as honest with you and in india if you are ccna certified you are a fresher and you are going for the jobs your base salary will start from fifteen thousand per month to twenty thousand per month as a fresher candidate but if you have uh, experience past experience now you got your ccna certification done and then you go uh, in the job market you can go uh, get from as per your previous salary or you can like just assume that twenty five thousand to thirty thousand rupees this is what you're gonna get in india okay in us market you'll get the money in your dollars as well as you might get some you know more as compared to indian but yes it is going to be the great start of your it networking uh, journey and in uh, this this particular field you can just focus on the growth as well you learn in the networking you learn in the new company then you go for ccnp certifications then you go for cci as well and over the period of time you get a good salary in here as well so it's not just one sort or just one time process you have to keep upgrading you have to keep new, uh, learning new things and this is the way up okay so yeah but i would like to uh, recommend you guys to go for uh, ccna then start learning in the companies and then make your own path as well as make a good money so that's all for this video guys as well as subscribe our youtube channel so that you can get the quality content which is coming in 2025 i wish you the best